No, this video doesn't look right. All right. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm seeing a split screen here. Well, all right. Um, okay, so anyways, this is the map, and it probably looks really garbled now, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing my whole screen. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, so I'm trying to start a makerspace or hackerspace here, and so I, I, uh, I we collaborated, uh, Hayward Techies and Makers collaborated with this place called the Sun Gallery, which is an art gallery here. They had this extra space in the back, and so we're, we're uh, collaborating with them to turn their unused or some or somewhat used um art gallery space into a make uh, or, sorry art what is it called uh, uh like studio space into a maker space and a community outdoor space so we're, we're here on their list here and this is our proposal let me see if you can see it um problem is so sun gallery community maker space uh for a proposal this is our artist artistic rendering of the outdoor courtyard um, so we're, we're funding uh, an outdoor stage and, and an outdoor cafe area and a workspace that could be used for like a dirty workspace. And then uh, the building in the back is going to be uh, the maker space. I have some photos here too. I don't know if this will work. Um, this document has like our description of the space. Well, you know what a you know what a maker space is, but we're. Uh, I just said here, imagine a makerspace for the community for creative pursuits using new technologies such as 3D printers, laser cutter, CNC router, screen printing, vinyl cutter, and blah, 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 wood, crafted wood projects, electronics, all sorts of stuff. And then the outdoor space will be a, a sta an outdoor stage and a, and a new, uh, and a workshop area and a new uh, entry system, maybe an electronic uh, entry gate. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, that that's like the existing art uh, gallery space. Um, you know what? I had a different list of photos here. Let me go over here. Um, this is the current outdoor space. I, I don't think you see this full screen because I don't think this is working right, is it? it I, I really can't tell what you're seeing, so you might have to tell me what you're seeing. Um, I think we're. I think we see the full photo, maybe, because we see the what's basically in the render or in the drawing, but photo. Yeah. Can you zoom out or uh, try to reshare? Yeah. Oh, probably back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah, you're better. Yeah. You see it? Okay, you can see it. So this is the existing space. So uh, we're just gonna uh, cover. Uh, we're gonna re-asphalt the grounds, and uh, you know, add a add a stage to it right there. Except you can't really see it very well. I don't know if it updates. All right. And right now, if you can see the uh, the fence back there, we're gonna put in a new gate so people can enter from the outside. Okay, and then let me. This is the this will be the makerspace building. And oh, right here uh, could be a, like a workshop area. So we're gonna have a canopy over there. Well, if we can afford it, if we can get the money, we'll, we'll have a canopy and workshop area on the outside. And then the inside. Uh, this is the, the existing art studio space. So we're going to add some modern technology, you know, printers, laser engraver, and CNC routing and all this stuff. So, so hopefully we'll win, and uh, we'll see. The, the voting's going to start May 1st, and it'll last two weeks. And if we win it, then, which is very likely, um, we probably won't get the full $60,000. They're likely split it, so we'll probably, it'll probably be 30000 or so around there. All right. Uh, Thank you very much, Carl. So, uh, wish us luck. <laughs> uh, ooh, this, uh, does anyone have any questions for Carl? Um, 
Uh, I just posted my question in the chat, but oh, does, it? <laughs> does the does the voting block require residency or is it just online voting? So you're, yeah, in fact, it's not even a whole city. You have to actually live in the sector six, which is the portion of Hayward where uh, this will be located. And so it's kind of somewhat limited on the voting. However, it is online. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if they actually check it, <laughs> but uh, you're supposed to put in your address and your name and they will, uh, they right. might somehow determine if you actually live there, but I'm not sure if they actually do that. <laughs> I guess we'll see when we uh, pump we'll, it up. We'll so see. Data into it. <laughs> they won't know who's real. Yeah, this is pretty nice because uh, the only other maker or uh, hacker space, like I have heard there is one in Oakland and uh, there is Hacker Dojo in Santa Clara. But well, else? Oakland has a bunch of things. You know, Hayward doesn't have hardly anything. Oakland has you know, hackers make multiple maker spaces and co-working spaces. Right. So yep. Hayward, well, we have a little room in the library that's gonna be online, which has never been opened because pandemic closed everything down. But it's not the same thing because you don't really have the same um, uh, autonomy to actually do. I mean, you can't just go in there and like screw around. You know? <laughs> like they want it all clean and everything and you have to do what they say. <laughs> so. Um, this will be a little more like a hacker space where it'll be more free for us to play around with it. Great. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Carl. Yeah, our closest space is basically uh, Circuit Launch, which is a very nice space. It's near the Oakland Airport, and it's in Oakland. That's our closest space. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Carl and um, Rofi. It sounds like your mic is on. Do you want to present? Yeah, the does last? my mic work now? Yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, well, should I go or should I go next time? Go now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, cool. we got it. Um, I'm, I want to talk about, uh, I'm going to talk about some adventures I've been having um, using hackerspaces, mainly Suda Room and NoiseBridge. Um, for the past couple of months, I've been super obsessed with like projection art and light projectors. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm also sort of interested in augmented reality, but a lot of the really cool stuff um, that's been done by artists was done with light projectors which is another form of augmented reality so and then it was just a cool way to like like to blow stuff up and on big screens because I'm, I'm i'm used to working digitally so much i'm used to you oh can you hear me um you're a little, you little muffled okay let me talk louder dude i've been messing with light projectors can you hear me now yeah we got a lot hi can you hear me now okay so I've been messing with light projectors. I'm really obsessed with this. Um, it's like another form of augmented reality, which is another thing I'm obsessed with. So uh, I've been hanging out at hacker spaces like Noisebridge and Sudaru, um, looking at a lot of old equipment. Um, people have been helping me around. So um, uh, for me, a lot of this stuff is happening at Sudaru where we're hat night every Tuesday. Um, what's really nice is I just go there and put in the time, like, even if I'm tired. Um, just showing up and getting stuff done is really cool. And just hanging out and working on hardware and looking at old equipment is really awesome. And I like a, I hang out with people in the Fix It Clinic and people make a lot of donations. So we also look at a lot of ancient gear. So um, I'm using a lot of older like projectors as well as the new stuff and getting a lot of advice. So I totally recommend um, Subaru and Harbor Hack Night for anyone who's interested because it's just a very creative time. Um, it's not really, um, uh, it's very project based. It's not a class. You don't have to do anything or take orders. And there's just a lot of, a lot of creative people there. Um, I could just sort of stuff online and order parts online, but um, just be, you lose your sense of touch. And um, it's just really uh, like we just have all this like weird equipment there. So 
In the past, there used to be stuff like Radio Shack or Weird Stuff Warehouse in Sunnyvale, and that's totally closed down. And when I go to the Harbor Hat Night and work on my light projector project, I can just look at there's just all this stuff there. You can browse and touch things, um, even books. It's like so important to just browse and look at books. Um, in the course of my time there, I've learned a lot about the history of light projectors. Like I had, I didn't know that blue laser projectors were only. I think it was only made really possible in 2008, and this Japanese dude won a Nobel Prize for it. Um, I thought we had laser projectors forever, but I feel like that's pretty recent. We also got to look at old technology like a silver screen and, and do different projections. And then we just started getting like a lot of donations and old equipment that were easy repair. Because there's, like I said, there's a fix it point there. Um, and there's just so much stuff. We don't have to buy new, new equipment. Um, I've also got, I also hung out at Noise Break Sundays, and um, it was cool just to keep the momentum going, um, showing up. Um, I was doing some experiments with um, light projecting, um, mini light projectors inside uh, the uh, fabric room or sewing room in Noise Bridge and talking to people there. Uh, there I'm, I'd like to encourage more cross pollination between sewing room and Noise Bridge, although compared to other micro spaces, we have a big connection. But like I said, the more the better. Um, I'm also working <laughs> to get student room involved in more of the cool community events in Oakland. Um, we have an East Bay bike party with like probably a thousand people on bicycles. Many of them have LEDs. And um, we, at the last one, we, everyone came out and we had a whole bunch of people there um, from Pseudo Room. Uh, um, I got to do my light projection, um, like experiment for my bicycle using like a, like a small, tiny, discontinued laser projector that a uh, uh, tool or Adam. Uh, help me get it's like this um and it was just really easy to attach it to my bicycle so it added some flavor because most people they oh, use already oh, 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 oh. um but let's see and yeah it was really fun um i'm going to like experiment further i want to experiment outside of sooner um there's a lot more youth it's a lot more diverse at the east bay bike party there's a lot of kids coming in from richmond and oakland a lot of latino kids and black kids and um and like uh, asian Asian, like uh, low income kids just coming, and it's just really cool. I want to experiment more outside of a hacker space or like a co working space or office space. Um, another space that we're trying to utilize at the pseudo room um, is a ballroom. Uh, there's not a lot of places in the Bay Area with this huge ballroom and creative space where artists can go and just mess around. So it, it just, it's really nice. You can just go in there. Usually, um, the other spaces you have to take class or um, go in free. <laughs> I'm trying to get, uh, I got some artists to do some collaborations, people I know for like 10 years who, um, actually, uh, this is Mike Bales, he did one of the original uh, tables at uh, Noise Bridge, like one of the cartoon cover tables, but, and this is Brian Cole, who, are, who teaches uh, cartoon to youth, and also, everyone's also heavily involved with the cartoon art history, the cartoon um, art museum in San Francisco. Um, I'd like to get more cross pollination with those folks. And as you can see, the Omni Ballroom is part of Pseudo Room, but this is not really being used as much as it could be. Um, it's it's like a, it'd be cool to have some kind of larger interactive uh, art space there. This is like a very cool area. Um, so I'm hoping to get more cross pollination there too. Uh, and um, yeah, here's just these are just like these are done not with high powered laser projectors, but just with very cheap. Uh, laser projector is less than two hundred dollars, um, and uh, I'd like to like work with these walls more and do more. Um, and my like uh, here's another experiment, and these are just all like digital art I've made. Um, I'm very interested in getting all of these groups and going out into the field and like getting all these different kinds of people involved, and also I'm just like yeah, just having fun. Um, I realize that I need to interact with proper spaces in a more engaged way. Sometimes I just show up and hang out and talk, which is really cool. But usually if I have a, one project running, I usually like uh, to work on a creative one and group off one. Then it gives me some kind of direction. Um, and I try to avoid making it uh, productive, but I just, uh, when I learn, um, classes are really cool, but they don't help me grow as much as working on a project. So next time I come to a class, um, I'll make an effort to um, try to see how the class relates to my project because it, it'll stick more. And um, I just, uh, I think I'm just going to try to move more to light projection 
workshop stuff in the same room as other people. Um, it was for a while I was getting isolated in this big dorm room away from the people. So I'm going to uh, try to get more like stuff going on in the space with people. And um, yeah, um, th these it's like a life project for everything is really cool, but most of it was just about yeah, working with other people and learning a lot of cool history. And um, yeah, I hope to collaborate more with Noisebridge um, in the future and Sudaro and just get more diverse people you know, and go out outside of the hacker space. So get these ideas out there, like it's definitely Okay, cool. Is that uh, someone else's? Oh, yes, uh, oh. We're hearing ice. What? We're, we're hearing some some machine. We're hearing something machine. It's, it's okay, no. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, Go sorry. On. I guess you didn't hear the whole thing. Just the last. Oh no, no, yeah. It just it just cropped up when when you were like saying this was the project, and then got a nice machine started, but. Yeah, we 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 can hear you now. Uh, is is this the end of? Is this a good day of the presentation? Oh yeah, so you didn't hear anything I said? No, 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 no. We heard you except for the last like ten seconds. Everything's cool. <laughs> that ice machine just. Sucked oh, the last ten seconds were like a. My summary was um, I could be working on anything, but I just kind of needed one project to anchor me. And um, I learned so much about uh, hardware and um, electronics history. And uh, I'm very committed to, to like just the way to make working in a hacker space stick is to just relate it to a creative project. Otherwise it doesn't stick as much. And I just like to get more people involved, like people from the cartoon art museum, people from art museums, and then people from like the bike party and uh, other spaces like um, involved in noise bridge and Sudaru. And to just get outside of the hacker space too and bring all these cool ideas out there. Okay. Great, thank, thank you. you very, yeah, thank you. Uh, then we would like to take the laptop, quote unquote, <laughs> like, would like to say something uh, okay. as a maybe a question or two. Uh, the, here. the laptop wants to know that it's a computer, but uh, you know, I was, I was curious, like, I think like all of the projects you presented are awesome. I'm curious, like, what were like some of the big hurdles of making like a light projection system mobile because like I, I guess like you know oh projecting on a screen or projecting on something structured and static makes sense to me I, I I guess I don't know how well that adapts to like oh you know biking around is more dynamic and how it making it like look nice and you know, not fall apart well um I, I think I'd have to make this like really crazy system and uh, Mark from Sudaroom was going to um, like attach sensors, but it's pretty crazy um, because we have so many GoPro cameras and um, like 3D cameras from the um, from China popular now. There's Insta360. There's all these components that I, I just used for my GoPro camera that were would attach to the new uh, this new projector. It has a quarter inch um, threaded screw. I don't know what you call it. That's the thing that cameras have. And then um, a lot of the stuff is, uh, I, I probably shouldn't be so lazy, but I'm a mobile developer. So it wasn't really necessary to um, to uh, to create a sensor to monitor my wheels. I could just use my phone, because my phone was connected to the projector, but I don't know if that's sort of lazy. I, I probably should go a lower level, right? But, um... Very cool. Yeah. Is there anybody else? So, do you want to do these projects at Noise Bridge or at the other hacker space? Oh, I a combination of both um, Noise Bridge and Sudaroom. Uh -huh. And uh, Sudaroom has a ballroom. So, it's really cool bouncing back between SF and Oakland. Okay. So just a general question because I've never I've never been to Pseudo Loop. It's like the ballroom, is it like reserved to be like an art gallery or is it also like project spaces and stuff or um, um I think you do you have to reserve it for events, but it's not really I don't think it's that hard. And um just to I just 
like to goof off there, you can come and hold a heart night and hang out there. As long as you clean up after yourself. So, and it, it just uh, stuff looks way different when it's in this big ballroom than when you're in a, it's on a computer screen. So it's just, it's like a really cool um, place to have, I think, and experiment. So I wonder if we should just try to get more people to realize that. Uh, well, thank you very much, Romy, for your uh, like our projection of our presentation. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so that is with that is the conclusion of. Uh, unless there are anyone else who would like to present, going twice. Uh, so yeah, that's that is a wrap for uh, five mom on uh, four twenty one. Uh, yeah, thank everyone for coming. And anyone, uh, if someone, if anyone has a few minutes left to say, um, what Ryan said is correct. We do have a trash night, um, and. That is tonight, and we should take out the trash um, if they have not done that already. Um, but as for five off, that is complete. So thank everyone for coming. Um, yeah.